My family, carnival of so-called expert Caroline Graham must stop stalking and harassing Harry and Meghan. Right now, Caroline has written an article for the Daily Mail, a tabloid that she works for, attacking the leader of Colombia, President Gustavo, and also the Vice President of Colombia also has been attacked by Daily Mail's Colin Graham. Even the great nation of Colombia, they have been attacked by Daily Mail's Colin Graham. As UK media keep showing how angry they are at seeing Harry and Meghan thriving outside of the institution. My family, let's all be honest with each other about the real issue that UK media have towards Harry and Meghan. But first, let me read you the headline that Caroline Graham wrote for the Daily Mail while attacking Harry and Meghan. And I quote, As Harry and Meghan Prepare for latest quasi road tour. Are Harry and Meghan being used as political pawns by Colombia? Asks Colin Graham, a carnival of so called expert who has spent years, years trying to find a way to gain access to Meghan. Find a way to destroy Megan's life for years. Remember, this woman, Caroline Graham, was the woman who was dispatched by Daily Mail to gain access to Thomas Markle. And there are photos to back up what I'm saying. Where she gained access to Thomas Markle and my family paid him money. And she used him to attack Megan. She used him to go after Megan. The same, same person is the same woman who got the late Pat Tillman's mother to make negative comments about Prince Harry. And now she's going after Harry Megan, who have been invited to Colombia by Vice President Francia Marquez. My family, let's be honest about the real issue that UK media have. And my family, here's the issue. To the UK media, it is either Harry and Meghan belong to them, are used by the British media are exploited only by the British media only. If Harry Meghan don't belong to the UK tablet press, then to the UK media, to people like Colin Graham, they belong to no one else. No one else is allowed to use Harry Meghan if it's not the British tablet press. That is the issue that UK media have. My family is like, how can I compare this? It's like an ex who you want nothing to do with. Who you are seeing happy. Being invited to the high table. You know, to important places. To my family, you know, a room full of influential people. You are seeing them thriving away from you. And you're like, if I can't have them, if this person does not belong to me, then they belong to nobody else. Now that is the issue that UK media have towards Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan, as you all know, have rejected the British 
tabloid press. Harry Meghan refused to wine and dine with their abusers no matter how many times UK media have tried to bully Meghan into whining and dining with them. Into giving UK media, the bullies, abusers, access to her kids to exploit them. Meghan has never done that. Harry has never done that. All their attempts are trying to find a way to enter into Harry and Meghan's lives, to have access to Harry and Meghan's lives, have failed. It's all failed, no matter how many times UK media have been trying. And they are seeing others being invited to sit at the same table as Harry and Meghan. For example, CBS Jane Pauley is invited to do an interview with Harry Meghan. Is invited to interview Harry Meghan. You don't see Daily Mail correspondents being invited to interview Harry Meghan, and you're never gonna see that. And you're never going to see that. And that's the issue UK media have. They are like Harry Meghan. If you are not ours, then you belong to nobody else. And as you can see, they are attacking everyone who is close to Harry Meghan, which backs up what the Byline Times exclusive told of all of us, that senior members of the royal family, meaning Charles and William, signed off on a press assault of Harry Meghan and instructed the UK tablets to target anyone in Harry and Meghan circle. And my family. And that's why you see even people who take selfies with Harry or Meghan are targeted, are attacked by the UK media. And even right now you are seeing a president of an entire country, President Gustavo, is being targeted by the daily fail. And my family, kindly let me read you what Carnival of so called expert Colin Graham is saying. You know, my family, allow me to read you what she says. You know, number one. Apparently, she wants to ask the police. The military about who will be protecting Harry and Meghan. You know, that's what Carnival of so called expert Colin Graham went to do. And that's what she is doing, my family. And that's what she has done. And my family, let me kindly say this it is scary how. UK tablets always want to know exactly details about Harry and Meghan's security. My family, we don't see this happening anywhere else. We see this from the British tabloid media. You know, my family, I remember, you know, something that happened in Harry's court case, whereby he was suing Home Office, trying to get back security for his family, for Megan, Archie, Lilibet, and himself. I remember very well that when Prince Harry was suing the Home Office, the judge who was presiding that case agreed with both parties that there are sensitive details that have to do with protecting or guarding important officials in the country that cannot be discussed in court. You know? That cannot be revealed in court. They can only be spoken of in private. And my family, Harry agreed. The Home Office agreed. The judge hearing Harry's case agreed. Because they know 
there are things about security that you cannot reveal. Because if you reveal them, it puts in danger others. It puts in danger people who are protected. You know, in the UK. Members of the royal family, senior government officials. And my family, Prince Harry respected that. And did not make demands for sensitive issues pertaining to security to be revealed. Harry agreed that my family, those issues should be kept private. However, look at what Daily Mail is doing. My family, allow me to please kindly read you this because honestly this is scary this is just completely completely scary my family this is just completely very very much uh scary my family you know number one graham says and i quote neither the government police nor Colombian military would discuss security arrangements for Harry and Meghan. But a well-informed source told Daily Fail that costs that have to do security will be picked up by the Colombian taxpayer. And that Harry and Meghan will be with the vice president and she has a lot of security because there have been attempts made on her life there have been assassination attempts made on her life my family what's the point of daily mail going to inquire to the government to police to the military on harry and megan security you only make these inquiries if you are someone who's invested in trying to harm Harry and Meghan. That's the only reason you would do this. And my family, we all know that UK media have been a huge part of the people who've been issuing threats towards Harry and especially towards Meghan. You know, I remember Megan's words in the Harry and Megan documentary. Whereby Megan said these words. You know, that you are making people want to kill me. You know, let me remind you, my family, of Megan's words in the Harry and Megan documentary. Please, my family, you know, my family, just kindly look at this, please. You are making people want to kill me. It's not just a tabloid. It's not just some story. You are making me scared, right? And like that night, to be up and down in the middle of the night, looking down my hallway, like, are we safe? Are the doors locked? Is security on? Is everything? That's real. My family, you've heard that yourself. Are my babies safe? Are the doors locked? And to wake up in the middle of the night, worrying if you're safe, if you're safe. That's what UK Media have done to Megan. And my family, clearly, they haven't stopped with the threats. UK Media have not stopped with the threats. My family, Harry and Meghan need and deserve security at all times. At all times. And because of the hateful rhetoric of the British media, Harry and Meghan, wherever they go, they need and deserve security. And one of the reasons as to why I do believe Harry and Meghan have accepted the invitation 
from Vice President Francia Marquez is because they were guaranteed protection. And no wonder Harry Meghan are going there to Colombia. You know? And I'm sure that Harry and Meghan will be well protected in Colombia. But UK Media have a problem with that. They have a problem, an issue with that. They are taking issue with Harry Meghan, you know, being safe or feeling even safe. They are taking an issue with that, my family. And, and anybody, anybody who questions Harry and Meghan security arrangements, that are being done to keep Harry and Meghan safe. That person does not mean well to Harry and Meghan. They don't mean well to Harry and Meghan. And my family, even when Harry and Meghan were in Nigeria, Yuki Media were complaining about how Harry and Meghan were surrounded by the military. The only reason you are angry about that is because you want something bad to happen. Because the thing is, UK media aren't paying for Harry and Meghan security. Britain isn't paying for Harry and Meghan security. And my family, so then where is the problem? Where is the problem? Where? Colombia, you know, the vice president is the one who will be handling and ensuring that Harry and Meghan are safe at all times when they are in, when they are in Colombia, then why are the British press complaining? Why? Why? Why are they complaining? Taxpayers in Britain aren't paying for Harry and Meghan security. Then why are you complaining? Why? Why? And my family, I'm happy. That Vice President Francis Marquez will be ensuring that Harry and Meghan will be safe wherever they go in Colombia. And I'm sure that that is able to make Harry and Meghan feel comfortable and safe and protected in the family. And I'm happy about that. And my family, I believe by now that uh, Daily Mail correspondents already have acquired visas to travel to Colombia, to go and follow Harry and Meghan there, even though they know that they have not been invited by Harry and Meghan to go there. You know? Because Wikimedia Media are desperate to exploit Harry and Meghan. Remember what I've said? To them, to Harry and Meghan, you know, only Wikimedia Media believe that they have a right to cover and uh, exploit Harry and Meghan. They don't want anyone else having that privilege. And it angers them that others have that privilege. The Harry Megan are talking to others and not them. You know? And uh, my family, let me read you more on uh, what Graham is saying. You know? Now, my family, now, Caroline says that, and I quote, when Megan and Harry touched on Colombia this week for their second. Quasi road tour. They will no doubt be hoping the trip will boost their image on the world stage. My family, Harry and Meghan's image, despite years of smear campaign, remains intact. If Harry and Meghan's image was destroyed, then I can promise you one thing. Nobody would be inviting Harry and Meghan to come over to visit their country, like what Nigeria has done, like what Colombia right now is doing. Nobody. I mean, for example, look at Prince Andrew, for example, who is destroyed. No one invites him to come over to their country. Nobody. Even Prince William and Kim Milton. The people behind the smear campaign against Harry and Meghan, who's inviting them to come over for a tour. Nobody. Nobody. After William and Kate's disastrous tour to Jamaica, 
and other Commonwealth countries, the Foreign Office have never ever sent them ever again to go on my family another foreign tour. You know, so really, UK media must stop blaming Harry and Meghan because they are the ones who are loved. They are the ones who people want to be around. Stop blaming Harry and Meghan for that. Stop it. Harry and Meghan gave Charles William a good offer. Half in, half out. Whereby Harry and Meghan offered to work free of charge for the royal family and they were told no. So my family, UK media, and the farm must stop whinging and mourning, you know, about Harry and Meghan. You know? And my family, also, as I continue with what Graham, you know, says, my family, she says that according to a prominent Bogota lawyer who apparently spoke to Daily Mail, my family, those are imaginary sources, my family, you know, apparently she was told that, and I quote, I'm sure Harry and Meghan mean well. But everyone here is talking about how obviously they are being manipulated. <laughs> My family, what did I say? What did I say? Since when do you keep media? Care about Harry Megan being uh how can I put this? About Harry Megan being used. Because even they use Harry Megan's name to sell papers. They use and exploit Harry and Megan's names to click to get clicks. They use Harry Megan's names to pay their bills. They use Harry Megan's name to make money for themselves. And no wonder you're seeing multiple carnival of circle experts only interested in writing articles about Harry and Meghan, in talking about Harry and Meghan, while ignoring the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK. And my family, somehow, the abusers of Harry and Meghan, people who are hell-bent in trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's lives, people like Colin Graham, are concerned that Harry and Meghan are being used by my family, the president and vice president of Colombia <laughs> for PR. <laughs> and, and, and that's why I have said this. The reason they're upset is that others are able to speak have access to Harry Meghan while they are being denied access to Harry Meghan. They believe Harry Meghan are supposed to only be exploited by them, are only supposed to be used by them, UK media, and no one else can use them. And, and that's why I remember back when Harry Meghan was in the rock world, UK media were gloating to American Reporters, how much money they were making from covering and using Harry and especially Meghan. They were gloating about how much money they were making from covering Harry and Meghan. And now all of a sudden, they are claiming, oh, we are concerned that Harry and Meghan are being used by the president and vice president of Colombia. <laughs> You know, my family, that, that's the smell of hypocrisy. That's the smell of hypocrisy. That's the smell of hypocrisy from the British media. The smell of hypocrisy. You use Harry Meghan to make money for yourself. Colin Graham herself in particular, the one who wrote all this stuff, all this nonsense. This woman has been after Meghan for eight years now. She gained access to Thomas Markle. She has gained access to Samantha. Thomas Markle Jr. Mostly Thomas Markle. Mostly Thomas Markle. Because clearly, that's who she was told to gain access to. And my family, she's been able to make money 
of over using Thomas Markwell. But she has never had the pleasure to gain access to Meghan Markle. Another person over the past eight years has been trying so hard to find a way to gain access to Meghan is complaining about is someone saying she's concerned that Meghan and Harry are being used. <laughs> <laughs> hypocrisy of the highest order hypocrisy of the highest order <laughs> my family let me continue reading this please you know this so called lawyer from Bogota says and I quote of course their star power will be used to bring attention to poor people and certain areas of culture in Colombia but the reality is this that the Colombian government has been drowning in scandal since it came into power two years ago. And that they need something to appease people at home and make them look good abroad. You know? And my family, Vice President Marquez's office said that Harry Armigan's trip will begin on Thursday, but remained tight lipped about specifics, my family. You know, and my family, because you can be able to know everything, they want to be informed everything. And my family, don't be surprised when uh, you see that carnival of so called experts have gone to Colombia to go and follow Harry Megan around my family. You know, because they cannot accept Harry Megan's rejection and they refuse to accept it. And they follow them everywhere. You're by the like, we are the ones who are supposed to exploit them. We are the ones who are supposed to use them. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? But, you know, we are concerned. Harry Meghan are being used by the president of Colombia and the vice president of Colombia for them to get good PR for themselves. <laughs> From the UK media that uses Harry and Meghan to make money for themselves while spreading hate bigotry towards Harry Meghan. My family, you know, some people, I don't know if they don't see their own hypocrisy or, or what. Honestly, I don't. You know, my family. And the thing is, Daily Mail is just so full of hypocrisy. You know? And my family, apparently, a spokesman for the vice president said all but three events would be under the control of the vice president's office. Carefully choosing the images and video clips to be released to the public. You know, my family says, uh, you know, the vice president spokesperson, you know, my family, you know, that's what is currently being said, my family. My family, the thing is, I am happy that Harry Meghan have been invited to Colombia. It destroys the narrative of the key media. That whereby they keep claiming that Harry Meghan are popular, are unpopular, that nobody wants to be around Harry Meghan. Clearly, that's all a bunch of lies. And people do want to be around Prince Harry and Meghan the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family. And one thing also that makes you media so angry is that every single time you are seeing the lies being exposed, you know, and the truth is always revealed, that people do want to be Harry Meghan, to be around Harry Meghan. People do want to be around Harry Meghan. And also the fact that my family, Harry Meghan, are extremely popular. Harry and Meghan are extremely popular. Even the so-called lawyer, even though I think this is imaginary, say this, that of course their star power, Harry and Meghan's star power, while looking at me, is claiming that Harry and Meghan's star power has waned. <laughs> you know, the truth will always reveal itself. The truth will always reveal itself. My family, I've said this, and I'll say this, and I will say this again. 
for as long as Harry and Meghan are together. And I'm hoping it's forever. The star power will always shine bright. Why do you think UK media are trying so hard to break apart Harry and Meghan, to destroy their marriage, to force Harry, Meghan, to force Harry back to the UK alone without Meghan and Lipitana? Because they know that for as long as Harry and Meghan are together, their star power will keep on turning brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. My family, you know? And also I can see they're attacking President Gustavo Petro of Colombia, calling him, you know, a radical leftist. And also my family saying that he's having an affair, cheating on his wife. I can see the attacks, my family. And what does this have to do with Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia? What does this have to do with Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia? And also, look at how they've attacked Vice President Marquez. Let me read you this, please, kindly. Now, Colin Graham says, and I quote, that Vice President Marquez made global headlines too for a remarkable Backstory as a dirt poor woman who worked as a maid while raising her two sons as a single mother. Look at how they have attacked her. My family, Francis Marquez, is an inspiration to so many. She did not inherit a fortune like what happened to the royal family, whereby someone just born with silver spoons. No. She worked for everything that she has now. She truly is an inspiration. And my family also Megan. She is an inspiration. Megan did not inherit millions or billions. No, she worked to make her own millions. And Megan was able to do so. You know? And so did Francia Marquez as well. And it is despicable to see how both women are being attacked by the toxic British media who serve as cheerleaders for senior members of the royal family who rarely work. I mean, who can say this year that Charles and William and Kate and Camilla have done something, have worked? Who can say that? Who can say that, honestly, this year? Who can say that they've worked? Nobody. But you're seeing someone, people who are, who, people who are actually, actually working, being attacked by the British media. Or because they have welcomed Harry and Meghan to their country, to Colombia. You know? My family, this is part of the agenda of the royal family. Whereby they have instructed UK media to target everyone in Harry and Meghan circle. And it is despicable what they're doing. You know? It's despicable what they are doing. And my family, it is high time that William and Charles ask their minions, UK media, to back off of Harry and Meghan and leave them alone. You know? They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone. And then, my family, in the end, Carnival of Socialist Party, Colin Graham says, and I quote, as King Charles and the rest of of the senior royals, including cancer stricken K. Moulton, who are on holiday in Balmoral, one has to wonder if they will follow coverage of the quasi royal visit taking place 5,000 miles away. And if so, what will they make of it all? My family, number one, it is none of their business. It is none of their business. William and Charles rejected Harry Meghan's half in half a proposal. They rejected Harry and Meghan's proposal to work for them for free. Whatever Harry and Meghan do outside of the institution is Harry and Meghan's business. But sadly, we have seen UK media and senior members of the royal family poking their nose into Harry and Meghan's private affairs. It's despicable what they're doing. It is wrong what they're doing. And my family, they need to back off. They need to back off. 
Look at media. You lost your right to cover Harry Meghan. The moment you got abusive towards Meghan, the woman Harry fell in love with, you lost any access you had to Prince Harry. The moment you went, you went after the woman he loves. The fact that Harry Meghan, eight years later, despite bullying that they've experienced, harassment, insults, all these years, they still want nothing to do with the media. You think you can change that by continuing to target them and anyone in the circle? With Harry Meghan, abuse has never ever met, met, made them to come and sit down and wine and dine with their abusers. It's never happened. And it is not going to happen. And my family, Prince Harry, after what the president did to his mother, and also how that to Meghan and his kids, there's no way he's ever going to wine and dine with them. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, ever, 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 my family. And they've got to accept it. They've got to accept it. My family. You know? And my family, you know, Graham then says that the trip will allow Megan, who celebrated her 43rd birthday last Sunday, to show off her fluent Spanish, which she learned at a private school in LA and perfected at the US Embassy in Argentina. You know? And my family, I can't wait. To see Megan speak Spanish. That's if that's if she'll speak Spanish. I can't wait. Once again, the UK will be reminded of just what they lost by choosing to be abusive and the racist towards Megan. They'll be reminded of just what they lost and what they have left behind. Royals who are boring, and my family clearly who also cannot sell papers for the UK media. And uh, my family, and also there is something that I want to add, you know, how UK media calling this a folks royal tour. My family, Harry Meghan are royals, whether UK media like it or not. Harry Meghan only stopped being royals the moment that you see that in Britain, you know, the monarchy has been abolished from the constitution of the family. Then you can say Harry and Meghan have stopped being royals. And my family, it is not UK media who say that uh, these two are royals and these ones are not. It is not up to them. It is not up to them. My family, it is not up to them. It is not up to the UK media because basically from what I've seen, UK media are trying to claim that they are the ones who determine who are the royals and who are not royals. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. Harry and Meghan only stop being royals if the monarchy is abolished in Britain. For as long as they keep the monarchy, the my family, Harry and Meghan will always continue being royals, whether you can either like it or not. My family. And uh, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless you all and stay tuned to our next video. Love you, awesome forever. And my friend, thank you to Francia Marquez for inviting Harry and Megan to Colombia. Clearly, you know, the invite is, a, is, is angering the right people. Harry and Megan being invited to Colombia is uh, angering the right people. I want to hear your opinion on what we discussed. May God bless you all and stay tuned to our next video. And may no open phone against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lynn Bedana ever prosper. My family, stay tuned to this video. Love you, awesome forever, and may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. 
Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.